How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender and I have a fantastic survival kit to show you today. My friends over at Wild Hedgehog Tactical sent me there uh, a kit they, they designed and put together themselves. It's called the SSSK, Stay Spiky Survival Kit. A lot of people ask, myself and other YouTubers, what do I build? What do I put in it? What do I need? Uh, do I need this? Do I need a couple of those? And how many of these should I have? What's the best pouch to use? And it's really hard for me and others to answer because there's so many intricate parts to that, to that, that question. Where are you? How far are you going? You want a kit just for the car? You want a kit for your bag? You're going camping? You just want something light? Has a little bit of everything you can just put in your bag and just stay there. You can add that to your bob, to your, 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 um, your camping equipment, your hiking equipment. Wild Hedgehog Tactical sent me their kit. It's really nice. It has the best of everything and this is what we're going to look at today. All right, so here we have the Stay Spiky Survival Kit from Wild Hedgehog Tactical. They always use, as far as I understand, a, uh, they use a lot of Max Edition pouches because they are really good. I mean, look at this thing. They have this thing full of fantastic products. Uh, you know, the usual uh, Max Edition quality, great zip is. I mean, it really is a fan. It's got some PALS webbing. You can mount this on your pack there. You can drop it in your pack. It has a grab handle to pull it in and out of the pack. There are even ways of attaching this to your belt if you wish. On the front, there is a little mesh pocket, but you really can't get into honestly because this thing is full. i mean look at that thing it is stretching and uh you get one of their fantastic rubber pouches uh patches wild hedgehog patch so let's open it up and let's uh go through the contents inside now this is new for me as it is for you i'm not exactly sure what's in here but based on what i saw on their website Everything you need is in here. All right, everybody. So this is what we're looking at uh, when I open it up. There's a lot of products in here. I mean, tons of stuff. Because I am doing this one-handed, I apologize. I'm actually going to stop the camera, remove everything from this, and then we'll go everything one by one, okay? Every time I think I got everything out of there, there was actually more. So I took it all out and I just stacked it on top and we're just gonna go through it, okay? We have a straw. Goes with your Sawyer filtration system. So we have a straw. And I'm not doing this in any particular order. We have the North American Rescue. I believe that's what that is. And it is the compressed gut. Wow, that is really <laughs> vacuum sealed probably last you forever compressed gauze over four yards that's a lot of gauze and we have several uh, what I would call goose uh, loose gauze gauze pad got a couple of those we have a couple very large band-aids uh, possibly for the eye large cuts we also have a, uh, a snap light. You know, these delight snakes, you snap it. Uh, you can always use one of those in a kit. And this is all great stuff that everybody should be using anyway. We do have a small compass. Let's see if it works. Yep, because I know that's facing north. I know where north is. And again, I'm not doing this in any particular order. We have some Steri strips from 3M. Every kit should have these. I have those in all my kits. We do have a small, uh, what would you call it? A hanker of paracord. You never know. We do have a magnifying glass. Yes. 
Lots of uses for one of those. And every kit should have one of these. Emergency blanket. You know what those are for. Tin foil emergency blanket. Good. And the Sawyer. Now I was reading on their website earlier. Come on, focus for me. I was reading on their website earlier that this is good for a hundred thousand gallons. Seriously, I mean, if if this is the this is the one because I was checking this out before, a hundred thousand gallons. And we do have a ferro rod with a striker. The friendly Swede. Now, I don't use my knives to strike my ferro rods. I use these. I grabbed a whole bunch of these things uh, quite some time ago. And they do serve multiple purposes, but they're fantastic for using on your, uh, your ferro rod. Nice, nice. Been wanting to get to this. This is really nice. Now, you should always have a large knife in your camping, hiking, uh, survival kits, bug out bags, something similar to that, and including some water some fluids we should also have a backup blade this is a lanyard a small neck knife now let's see if i can uh yeah nice kydex sheath i'm sure you're all familiar with m tech let's get that out of the way oh look at that Is it sharp? Wow, that's sharp. That is sharp. Fantastic little neck. And I got big hands, and that, that's pretty comfortable. That is a great neck knife to go along with a larger blade. Let's put that down there. And we have the other portion of the Sawyer water filter. And uh, you take the elastic off, and this will open up. I mean, this, this is fantastic. If I'm, I'm telling you, on their website, I will link to this kit, obviously, on their website. And if I am correct, they're saying 100,000 gallons. That's a, that's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. And we have here, obviously, you know what this is. We have a signal mirror. With a little bit of hole there for a lanyard. These are good to have. Every kit should have one of those. We have a whistle on a paracord. A little piece of string. Wear it on your neck. Put it on your pack. And now it does have a, a clip there because it was clipped in here really nicely tight. Um, to put on your pack or on your neck. Whatever you wish. But you do have a whistle. We do have some tin foil. We do have some wire fishing line, sinkers, and a nice little pack. You know about this. This is really great to have. And this, I really like this. This is the Ready Man. Sorry about that. Ready man tools. Look at all the stuff on there. So let me open. Look at this. Arrowhead. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. There's hooks. There's a saw. There's, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. There's so many things you can do with this. We can make traps. There's even some sewing needles there. I mean, that is fantastic. Everything on here does something. Even this little thing right here has a, everything on here does something. As a matter of fact, right here, they talk about what everything is for. A lot of really nice stuff. Good stuff in there. And we have here your, uh, some Tinder. This is a small uh, little roll of Gorilla Tape. 
We have some Coleman matches, waterproof matches. There you go. And a nice little pack. And last but not least, we have your a, a small first aid kit. We do have a tampon there. I'm sure you know what those are used for as far as emergency purposes go. <laughs> uh, so, we, I mean, there's a lot of little things in here. Good stuff. A couple band-aids you can even add to this if you wish. Now, this is, remember, this is, I mean, look at all the stuff. Look at all that stuff. And, of course, a very nice... Now, I did go through all the pockets twice because, I mean, they literally had everything stuffed in here. Fantastic pouch. All that fit in here. And there was a little bit of room. If you really compressed everything, you could probably fit some more in there. What a great pouch. And all this stuff. This is stuff that you could, you know... It's going to keep you alive until somebody can find you. It's going to keep you alive till you yourself can get out of where you're at and get help. Nice kit. Wild Hedgehog Tactical puts out some fantastic quality products. That's for sure. All right, everybody. So that is the video for the Stay Spiky Survival Kit from Wild Hedgehog Tactical. As you saw, it's got a lot of stuff crammed in that pouch. And again, I get a lot of questions from people saying, what do I get? What do I put in there? What do I need? This kit literally has everything. In addition to a large fixed blade, your backpack, and some other items. It's just something great to put in the camper, the house, your backpack, um, when you're going hiking, you're going camping, leaving the car, anywhere you choose. Um, it's a really nice kit, the best of everything. At this moment, I believe I saw it's roughly about $105 for the pouch and everything inside. The last conversation I had with them, if you were to buy that pouch and everything inside, you're looking at close to $125, $130. So you're saving $20, $25 just by buying the kit already together. And it saves you the hassle of buying every little thing and then buying a pouch and, and putting it in, the, in there all uh, together. You buy it that way. You buy it together. Get it. Familiarize yourself with everything. And then you have it. And remember, it's better to have it and never need it than need it and not have it. That is it, everybody. If you have any questions, please discuss them below. I will have a link in the description box to this particular product on their website. And they have a lot of really nice stuff, survival kits, med kits, and a handful of other stuff. Go check them out, and we'll talk soon, all right? Bye.